opportunity and you know don't take advantage well take advantage of this opportunity because I don't know of too many other ones that are like this this is very unique um, you, you know hands on you're working in front of and behind the camera and officially opens up in Dallas and Houston October 30th, but Cinemark has actually given us the opportunity to open on Thursday, uh, Thursday night. So at the Cinemark Theater, you can go Thursday night and see the film, which is October 29th. Then we will be expanding November the 6th to New York, LA, Miami, Detroit, St. Louis, a few other places. But the most important weekend is that October 30th weekend. So October 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st, that's the very big for us. So good, good as a team. I'd say our discipline. High school football is king. What makes us so good? Me. But in 1988, Carter has, in fact, been forced to forfeit their final three games due to an ineligible player. You say it passed. His report card shows it passed. But the UIL say it failed. One team had to fight. These young boys should not be punished for some grown man mistakes. Just to step on the field. My staff and I will fight as hard in the courtroom as those boys fight out on the field. Welcome to Carter High of the best high school football teams ever. So you think this has something to do with the school being predominantly black? If the school was mostly white, none of this stuff would even be happening. Nothing worth having is gonna be easy. I think I'm losing them. Now you go on out there and you defend your boys. Football is about making good decisions and gambling don't build character. So what are we supposed to do if we can't practice? You stay focused! We waiting on a phone call to see exactly what's going on. Attention faculty and students. I've just been informed by the Dallas superintendent that our football team has been reinstated into the playoffs. I'm backing this bitch to the fence and no I'm not about my space. I'm hungry, I'm just here to eat and I see it's a night on the play. Charles S. Dutton, Vivica A. Fox, Pooch Hall, David Banner. I want y'all to know there's this little thing called destiny. It's something you got to go out and get. Carter High. Okay, Arthur Muhammad, writer, director. Uh, helped produce the film and also edit. Um, and I've shot a lot of films here in Dallas, uh, music videos, commercials, and also a film in Atlanta, and of course, Carter High. Hi, my name is Aliyah Muhammad. I'm currently in college at age 17. I also I did Carter High. I also did the movie in Atlanta with my dad. I shot a music video whenever I was about 12. In Carter, I was a cheerleader and I was Tammy in the scene with Derek. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Derek Lee. Um, I started in acting in high around March that's why I got the opportunity to be in this uh, wonderful film with this awesome director Arthur man it's wonderful he's awesome man he's, 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 he's everything an actor could dream of having your first gig one of the most creative um, super intelligent lenient laid back directors I mean it's, it's, it's simply brilliant how y'all doing all right my name is Eric Window. I'm an actor as well and I got the opportunity to play in Carter High with the director Mr. Arthur Mahomet and it was a very uh, good experience for me as well. Um, I played Jesse Armstead's father, one of the uh, guys in the, on the football team, so I get the uh, opportunity to play his father. 
I've been acting for over 25 years, uh, more professionally. I say the last 12, um, with the things that I've been able to. What does that have to do with anything? You said he got hurt, he came back strong, got hurt again. Listen, that was the point of it. Listen, dog. Yeah, am I right? Said, am I right or am I right? No one on the Thunder is winning MVP this year. You wanna know who's winning MVP? I'm listening. Oh. Anthony Davis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were serious. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, just lost all credibility. <laughs> <laughs> Get back behind the camera, because uh, we don't know what you're talking about. That's true. They came out with 5-0, and, oh, and that dude is going to be MVP. I I'm calling it now. Well, I mean, now you're, it's too early in the season to say that. Actually. It's too early in the season? It is. Okay, 13-2 to two touchdown no, interception radio. No, it's still too early in the season. 1,300 yards. Anything can happen. Anything can happen? The dude has made James Jones, who is a journeyman, who has been cut twice by two different teams in one season, made the dude, he's second in the NFL for touchdowns. And we just Next said, like, so we say sports talk with Isaac was great. <laughs> what I really loved about it was the research that I know that went into it. You guys watch uh, Stephen A and Skip Bayless, but hey, I watch them all the time with you guys. Surely, I, I believe if you guys stick at it, y'all can surpass it like quick. Cause I loved everyone. Like whenever they were all up here, just going back and forth, it didn't matter. Cause he said LeBron. I don't like LeBron, but I like how he stood right next to that young man. <laughs> it didn't matter how what he said, what he said, what he said. Sports. Sports talk with Isaac. All right, cool. For me, man, it was really good to see young, beautiful black brothers and sisters dressed talking intelligent, being very classy and professional. It's a very, very beautiful thing to see. And uh, it just shows that there's so much more to us. And that what that actually caught me off guard. Cause like Eric said, I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. It felt kind of bad when somebody 14, 15 <laughs> sitting down kind of like schooling me over here about, you know, some football and, and, and how many yards and this and that. So it was very impressive. Very good, and that, that goes, I think that research that you put in helps kind of like get y'all conversation going. And, it, and it's gonna challenge, I think next week, I don't know how often you do this, but if I was sitting next to you, I'm researching, and we come back next week, <laughs> we're doing that. <laughs> so that, that was good, keep doing that. Push each other, keep doing it, that's good. The knowledge that you had about sports, you know, it's just amazing to see that, you know, and, and, and most guys do, but most guys your age, I, I've never heard anybody really just talk in depth about uh, that kind of knowledge. I was just, you know, just back and forth. I mean, it looked like I've been doing that for years. Like, I knew each other just like, man, I don't know what it's doing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> With all confidence. I love confidence. But you taught me a lot about it. You know more than football and basketball than I do. I was always like, damn, I didn't even know all that. <laughs> like, I was really into it. I love that about you guys, and I feel like you guys are amazing. Like, truly from my heart, I'm not being, you know, this is like real. You know, I feel like you guys are really, really, really serious. You know, well, in a nutshell, very simply put, it was a fantastic experience. I love uh, the mannerism of these young people, which is something that we don't necessarily find all the time. The channel? that you guys did, I was so very impressed. Um, I saw you, um, you know, uh, interviewing and everything. I thought you have a fantastic interviewing still. Don't let that go to your head. Keep it down. <laughs> Keep it down. 
And what I would do is just make sure to keep it hands on, you know, and keep emphasizing professionalism, keep emphasizing business.